All right, so Justin said the thing is a lot of that lived in the privates had the opportunity to buy on the right. Yeah, exactly. Ex fucking exactly. There were people, right, back in the day in Hackney, yeah, let's say the 70s and 80s and that, in the fucking 90s, yeah, they were earning okay money, right? They were earning enough money, yeah, the people who lived in Hackney earned enough money, right, some of them, yeah, to afford to buy that council house. You know, I've got a cousin, yeah, he lives near um, Well Street, yeah, E9, yeah, he has a friend that lives next door, yeah, who actually works for Zoopla as an IT guy, right? He told me that one of their flat, one of the houses on their terrace was going for 800 grand, yeah? And this was, when did I have that old Honda Civic? Uh, this was like, what, 2014, and let me just fling a year in there, isn't it? Yeah, 2014, yeah? You know, back in the day, yeah, the people them that first occupied that house, yeah, they'd be like, oh, I never buy this house, whatever, it's in a shit area, whatever, in it, yeah? They should have bought their house, yeah? They should have bought their house, yeah? You should want to own the property that you live in, yeah? Why are you content with paying rent, yeah? First and foremost, yeah? Even if you, you live in a shit area, you either, you move out of that shit area, yeah? And pay rent somewhere else, somewhere else which I don't really advise. I always advise people buy their own property, yeah? Or you buy your own property, yeah? Why, why are you paying rent in a shit area for? Yeah, you're paying rent. To, so, yeah, man, I don't want to make no one feel bad, but sink, yeah, move out of that area, man. If you feel like the area is dangerous or whatever, innit, yeah, then move out of the area. Innit? Don't pay rent in the area, that shit, man. Move somewhere where you can try and buy that property and at least it's a safe area as well. Innit? So then people that were living in Hackney that were like, oh, I ain't, I, I ain't going to um, buy this property or whatever, innit? Well, then, yeah, if you ain't going to buy that property, then move, yeah? If you don't want to move, then buy the property because that money you're putting into that property, paying the rent, you might as well just go and take the rent money and throw it in the bin because, you, you, yeah, you're never going to get that money back. Right, you're maintaining a, a certain standard of living, whether it's low or high, but that money you're never, ever going to get back. <laughs> Obviously, do what you have to do in it, yeah? Yeah. It's all well and good me saying, yeah, you know, save up and buy a property in it, yeah, but just do what you have to do, yeah? But be thinking about buying your own property, yeah? I've, I've heard man on the internet talk about oh, all this buying into the government scheme about, like, trying to, like, how's man trying to demonise buying properties? Come on, fam. Come on, fam. Like, man are always trying to demonise the things that they need to really be doing, but they can't be bothered to do. See, it's easier for man, yeah? It's easier for man to demonise buying a property and say, oh, he's buying into the white man. I've heard man say that, you know, yeah? Buying into the white man's lifestyle, buying a property. Yeah, you only say that because you can't afford to buy your own property, yeah? If you had millions or millions, or if you had money, if you even had a fucking brain, you'd be thinking, yeah, let me buy my own property, yeah? I leave that there for my kids, yeah? So what if he's buying into the white man's ideology, but you're leaving something behind for your kids? <laughs> yeah? What, 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 are we playing a game now? What, is it some game now? Oh, we're going to just oppose everything that the white man sets, the trend that the white man sets. But fuck that. Yeah, how about leaving a property for your children? Yeah? If you ain't got really that much spare money to put in your children's account, all right, fine. Buy this property, and then when your children and that are like 30, 40 years old, yeah, can't remember, we're not going to live forever, yeah? I don't want to be too morbid, but one day you're going to die, yeah? Your children have that property, yeah? Even if they, they get to inherit it and sell it on when they're 40 years old, what we do today, right, is going to affect our children's futures, yeah? Like buying into the white man's ideology, yeah? Why not buy into your fucking children's future, motherfucker?